All right, we are back. We are not live yet, uh, <laughs> but we are back in the studio after uh, some wicked interviews at Fan Expo. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen those, Michael Rucker played with Sue's joystick. Take from that what you will. <laughs> and we had a good day. <laughs> we did. We, uh, I mean, this will be a week later, but we launched our Indiegogo campaign today yes, for our big run at the Guinness World Record. And we've already broken a thousand dollars. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Everybody, thank you. Honest, that blew me away. Yeah. I mean, we are that much closer to being above and beyond, yeah. you guys. Awesome. So keep that thank up. Very much. Um, <laughs> and then, what else is going on? We are in the studio because we have yet another another defiance guest. We found her on the internet. That's right. Yeah. And she just said yes. So mm -hmm. just keep mm -hmm. that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> we are very happy to welcome Anna Hopkins. Thank you. Welcome Thanks to the show. Having me. It's awesome. And yeah, literally just on the internet. It's all it takes. Yeah. Well, I need an address to meet you. <laughs> well, there's that's, that. That's <laughs> Unless we just join you off the street. And yeah, or that. She looks her familiar. Life. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Sure. Now, okay, we do always like to start with the same question. Everybody at home knows this one and plays along. Uh, all time favorite movie. Uh, or one of, or a few of, um, or a list that you can hmm. add to periodically. Through. Well, it's yeah, <laughs> just like every four minutes. And, and this one. Yeah. Okay, favorite comedy okay. of all time, Airplane. Nice. nice. Good for nice. you. Um, and then Emmy Lee is one of my favorites. Oh, gorgeous film. And um, our prophet, a prophet. I think it. I think it's just Ooh. is my other. We'll leave it at that, but there's a lot. Wow. There's a lot. <laughs> a nice you go by genre. Yeah, I have to go by genre and year and all of that. Wow, and year no less. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm just making it sound like I know it. Yeah. <laughs> I know, really. I'm just completely cool and I year like, wow. and genre and actor. And yeah. Alphabetically. Alphabetically, of course. of course. My favorite A movie <laughs> is... <laughs> Airplane. Airplane. Yes. <laughs> I could be at that game for a while. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> My favorite B movie. <laughs> oh, weird. And yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. I like puns. I like pun jokes. So. I think Terrific. That's yeah. gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> now you are. Uh, you're Quebecois. I am. Yeah. All you can do. Quebecois. What? Do I see? No. No. <laughs> East Coast, baby. Where are you from? Uh, that gets a really long story, but I'm born in Frederick, New Brunswick. Okay. And spent the rest of the time just around the planet. Cool. Uh, Spoiled little army bread, Air Force bread. Um, so. But yeah, uh, but there's like no. My parents are English, so. Um, like oh, English my father. English or English? Uh, well, my dad was born in Prince Edward Island, Ooh. East Coast as well. Uh, and then my mom was born in Montreal, but she's Anglophone, so I spoke English at home and then French at school, and yeah. I don't know if I was born in Montreal, I'm just trying to keep the franglais. <laughs> I speak franglais really well, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my third language. <laughs> no. Or Fringlish, however you... Fringlish. <laughs> Fringlish, yeah. I mean, you are relatively young. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Two of the other people in the studio right now. Yes. Right so, so when did you, how did you get bit by the bug? When did you start? Uh, um, I started, <clears throat> I was a dancer when I was young until I was about, like, as a kid, mm -hmm. until I was um, in high school. And then in high school, I just, it kind of transformed into theater at school. And it was kind of a really organic performance thing. And then I guess in, um, it was in high school when, um, do you know the director, Jacob Tierney? Oh my god, I know the name. Okay, he's a young Canadian director and he um, was from Montreal and his mom was a, a teacher at my high school. And at the time I was doing a lot of uh, plays there and she said, you know, you should get in touch with my son's agent, he was an actor at the time. And she's still my, she's still my Canadian agent. Really? Yeah, so that, that's kind of how it all started. Very cool. Yeah. I could have done that. Yeah. I just didn't. I did. Yeah. I we all chose a much more difficult road to <laughs> yeah. I had different moms doing my job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I was uh, I was going through your uh, your little your your 
IMDb page before we got started. Mm -hmm. And you just did the, the grant seduction. I did. Yeah. It's funny. I, um... <laughs> it was like... <laughs> I did that, like, I guess it was like almost two and a half it's got, years yeah, ago or something. And um, it was in, pretty much it was in post-production when they called... Actually, I auditioned for this role. It's, um... It's, I played Taylor Kitsch's, this character's girlfriend back home, so I never actually show up in the movie. No. I'm just the voice of his girlfriend, and she mainly just shows up because they have phone sex. So that's that's the extent of my role in that's, that movie. That's okay. And um, <laughs> I worked really hard on it. Really hard on it. <laughs> it should be recognized by the international Totally community. you should. So yes. Cool. Yeah. Now, had you seen the original? I had, yeah. For you. Yeah. Yeah, so. I actually haven't seen this, the, this one. Well, <laughs> oh, you've seen the original. I've seen the, No, I'm going to see this one, obviously. Of course. It's just, you know, how it is catching up on movies. Oh, don't even get me started. Yeah. Or television, for that matter. Television. Yeah. Nightmare. Especially I just the stuff started you're in, right? I mean, just, yeah, I mean, just started that one? Yeah. Oh, my God. I know. All the interesting ways you're going to learn to use the word fuck from here on out. Well, I know how to say now. Wait, I can say anything? You can say whatever you want. <laughs> Cocksucker! They say that <laughs> so much on that show. I'm just like, wow, this is cool. So <laughs> many, so many things. Yeah. yeah, no, definitely. It's, it's like South Park that. when the kids go see the parents and Philip. Oh, yeah. It was donkey raping shit eater. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. You're like, oh, that's really good. But yeah, yeah. the language, but the dialogue. Oh, it's it amazing. so good. Everybody's yeah. walking around swearing, but it's like Shakespeare at the same time. With yeah, the, you really have monologues. to pay attention watching that show. Wow. I need to watch that again. I haven't watched that since it aired. Wow. Yeah, I watched three episodes last night. Good for you. Yeah. It's weird, though, because you mentioned Taylor Kitsch being in uh, you know, Grand Seduction. Mm -hmm. I'm working my way through Friday Night Lights. Yes, that's another one yeah. that I really want to watch, too. So <laughs> and I'm not even a football fan. So no, but that. apparently you don't really. No, I mean, I'm loving it. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I know a lot of people who, who was, oh, actually Andy Wolk, who, who directed a few episodes mm -hmm. of Defiance, he says he loves The Wire and he loves Friday Night Lights, or, yeah. And, um, did you see our wire spoof on Defiance? The mm -hmm. real? Ooh. <laughs> 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 you know that, the Wire episode where they only say fuck yep. in one scene? Me and Julie did that. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's online somewhere. I'll send it to you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because, of course, that's one of the big reasons we wanted to get you in here is because, of course, huge Defiance fans. So, Great. And you've Good been, to hear uh, it. I mean, I sadly have so much to catch up on because Tim has computer issues at home. Oh. So I've only seen like the first two, maybe three of the season. Woo! I feel like so far behind. You are. It's all right. over now. And trying to prob that's probably why Trina's not talking to me. Yeah. How come she's not talking to me? And Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Grant. Look at Grant on the phone. Okay. But yeah, so, so you're playing Grill then. Yeah. And last I saw you were making kissy faces with uh, uh, Mr. Duchesne. Old Tommy. Yeah. He's my boyfriend now, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's what? been a year. What do you expect? Yeah. I guess. That's fair. That's fair. I guess. I was like, actually, I was okay with it. I'm like, this is going to add some interesting dynamic to the uh, yeah. to the series, right? Which Especially because like, you just can't put that video camera down. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's true. I can't. I love You'll that, see though. where that goes. Oh, yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. I have no doubt. And you can spoil it away because it's my own fault that I'm that far along. Yeah. So, so it's fine. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, it really needs to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I get home tonight, I will put the tablet to work and, and I will start catching up. Well, I watch yeah, because I think I'm, I'm just like, I haven't seen last week's yet. But okay, yeah. because it's, uh, the funny thing is, is that in the States they were doing, um, so it's over in the States. Yeah, the States just ended. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so I have seen, I feel like it's over, but it's not over here. No. What, uh, what, it's, there's That's a two great left? question. I think there's two left here. Probably. Yeah. Think, yeah. Right. Like I said, like a third with the one I haven't seen yet for me. Yeah. Okay. Like I think there's last week's and then. Like, so technically, yeah. I should just go home, and the entire second and be able and catch up and actually beat you to the end. That's. <laughs> 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 I could 
do that. Don't think I won't. I don't think you will. I just might. I just might. I think you might be busy. Helping. Yeah, I gotta do that too. But so, I gotta, I can download it legally first and... Download it legally, yes. And then watch it and then... I downloaded Deadwood legally. See? Bought it on iTunes. Good for you. I don't know who I winked at there, but... I'm sure it made somebody very happy. I winked at iTunes. That's we really need that. Hello, iTunes. See, I keep meaning to, I've got a contact at HBO, and I'm like, I should just email and say, can you send me these? Yeah. Please. Why don't you do that? Never heard stats. Because, well, they sent me so many good things already. I don't yeah, know you don't want to. Yeah. I mean, they sent me, uh, they had the Emmys there, what, last week? This week? Mm -hmm. Last week. Last week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they sent me this what huge this? box, which was the HBO Emmy kit. Mm. And they sent Fun. me, uh, oh, no, I already had that from HBO because they love me. Um, Boardwalk Empire season four, uh, the Normal Heart. They literally only two movies, but they sent me a crap load of candy. Canadian Club to drink while I watch Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's this huge box, just so stuff. Like, HBO, I love you. It's so nice. How do I get right? in on that? <laughs> <laughs> so it's I, I would feel bad saying, could you send me Deadwood too? So, yeah. Yeah, they'll send it to you. You just just play hard to get. They'll so, send it. I'm so, so good at playing hard to get. Yeah, you should what? wink at HBO now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just wink at like huge corporations that like don't. Sponsorship. Care about us. Not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now for for getting ready for Berlin and you know going around with the camera all the time. Did you? I mean, did you just kind of mm. do? You, did you literally prepare for something like that? Did you watch photojournalism or like mm. and just said I can do this? I roll. Um, well, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean, I studied film and communications in, in oh, okay. university, yeah. So we, we learned a ton about Lenny Riefenstahl, who um, Michael Nankin, after I got the role, had spoken to me about and said, no, this character is in a way influenced by her. Oh, that's weird. Um, minus the whole knowing about the Nazis. So that's not, that's not part of Berlin. <laughs> Um, I was going to say, did you yeah. come like did a you, fascist open Yeah, life? no, no. He was more inter <laughs> he was more interested in her um, in her filmmaking. So I did a lot of research on her, and, and I had already I, t I took a big propaganda class at university, which oh, was cool. really nice. I'm so happy I took that. And um, see, <laughs> stuff yeah, does come in handy in sometimes. University. And uh, yeah, and Michael uh, went over uh, some you know some of her camera angle styles mm -hmm. and all that stuff and um, he said you know I just want you to be when you get to, to work to just be as if this camera is like an extension of your arm and just nice. work that way so we just we just did that Very cool. yeah yeah it was really fun and then um, the footage that I would shoot would be used in the episode <laughs> that's cool right right so all that's my, really cool and I, I like to think it's because it was good enough to be used. Totally. Like if somebody screwed that up, they can't use it. But yeah. they did. That's like for that cool. scene with me and Tommy in bed. Yeah, yeah that's The true. surveillance footage is me. I, use, I did Very that. cool. Yeah. It's a huge skill. Huge skill. <laughs> huge. Yeah. That needs to be on the DVD is like some like... <laughs> B-roll outtakes and stuff. Right. There are, oh my god. <laughs> I, there was like, I would just forget that the camera was still rolling all yes. the time. And like, just like, other cast members would be like, wait, okay, wait, can you delete that? Like, make sure that's, that, and then we just like go through it and watch it as if, because then you have to give it, I would always give it to the prospector, yeah, yeah. and then he would go through the footage and like, Jesus, I'm going to have to delete a lot of stuff. <laughs> not bad stuff, just like, um. not Good stuff. Uh, <laughs> Wait, are, you, are you still recording? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? And it's always just black screen with like audio of people just saying stuff. Yeah. That yeah. Happens to me all of the time. Yeah. Oh, cool. Now we have heard not with me because my cats do not know how to record. <laughs> we have heard that uh, Mr. Graham Green can be a little bit of a prankster on the set. Mr. Graham Green? I mean, <clears throat> is he a prankster? You never pranked me. Really? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, well, she's pranking now. He's <laughs> super serious. He's really he's serious. Totally he's, serious. No, he's not serious at all. <laughs> and that's true. I mean, what's funny about him is his delivery on everything is really serious. Yeah. 
Totally so like when I first met him, I was like, are you, are you being funny? <laughs> um, but, you know, I didn't get to work very much with him. In fact, I don't... We have one scene together in the finale. Wow. Which I really enjoyed. Which they cut short. Who I wait to look at now? Sci-fi. So yeah, I mean, I love Graham, but I don't know right. much about his pranks. Okay. Is there something you wanted to share no, with me? I, I think we had some cool stories. We just heard that he, he can... He can stir it He's up. got a great sense of humor. Yeah, and that's yeah. what it is. That it like, is really, yeah. Mode, which is, I'm like, I would totally be honest. He always calls there. people, like, <laughs> he, like, always calls people, like, family member names. Like, he's always just like, my cousin. Or, like, <laughs> he's like, nephew. And you're just like, what? I think that's really I'm funny. I'm a girl. And, like, even on, yeah, and even on Twitter, he's always just like, something, something, my cousin. I'm like, cool. And I, I like that. I think, yeah. He's a good guy. We will get them in the show, and I won't point. Yeah, I think we'll most of your scenes seem to be with Duchesne and or Grant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's gotta be tough. It's fun to watch them, like, spar, too. Like, yeah. they are so I mean, at each other I this whole season. season. They yeah. really are, yeah. They have a great, great chemistry together. That's great power, man. He's awesome. He's yeah. so great. He's yeah. so nice. And his favorite movie, by the way, is Blade Runner, which... Woo! Good, good choice. It is a good choice. Yeah. I was like, I like dude, that. we did a little fist bump after you said that. <laughs> I was so impressed. Wait, so that was more impressive than airplane? No, man. Don't call Nobody me Shirley. Nobody said airplane no one, no one is, yeah. Yes. So you're a first one. Don't call me Shirley. That <laughs> gets me every time. <laughs> <laughs> Even completely out of context. Just like out of context. I'm just like, that's funny, though. It's the funniest movie. It is so good. Yeah, the first time, it was the first movie they were all Leslie like, Nielsen. Right? Yeah. Thank God they're not trying to remake those right now. Oh, like don't. They can't. Just re-release it in the theater so we can see them. Oh, that would be so good. And then leave it alone. I mean, yeah, because yeah, you're right. He was a total serious actor before that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Forbidden Planet, man. He was the bomb in that movie. Yeah. yeah, so good. So we're speaking of you know all these awesome actors that do comedy and drama and stuff. Mm -hmm. Rory, who influences you? Um, <clears throat> I. I mean, there's just, again, it's like, um, like millions of names are millions of <laughs> names. My brain is really advanced. <laughs> just see names. There's just shit in there. <laughs> yeah, it's a cyborg. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think Kate, Kate Blanchett, one of the oh, most, oh, yeah. I love watching her. Um, for comedy, uh, Peter Sellers is one of my favorite yeah, actors. I, I love uh, the Pink Panther movies right. I watch religiously. Chief Inspector, Jeff yeah. His timing and just, oh I mean, it's yeah. so, I, like, I think I've watched those movies, like, a thousand times. That's so, yeah, for comedy, I would think <laughs> I would for him. Yeah, well, at once, because my brain, I can't. Cyborg. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then there's all these new people, like, um, I think Emma Stone is really talented. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence, and there's always oh, I'm, and now watching Deadwood, I'm just like, oh, right? really? All cast. of you? <laughs> I mean, John Hawks, yeah. so great. Jessica Chastain, is that who you're gonna say? Jessica Chastain. Yeah, she's amazing. Michael Shannon. Yeah. Oh, so good. He is really good. He yeah. is so and good. Just because he can be like really funny, and then and I can watch him with something. Different. Oh, he completely could, yeah. Yeah. Just like, mm. yeah, I was gonna say he can be scary. He's <laughs> very powerful. Yeah. yeah, that film with both of them. Um, with no, what? Was it take shelter? Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, just go well. <laughs> yeah, God. scary. But yeah, I mean, anyone who does really good work is great to watch and sure. learn from. And yeah. yeah, you're on your way, man. Look at the stuff you've done. Thanks. You've done like all you know, the, the, you've done the rounds of the Canadian television circle. Mm -hmm. you know, like, I still need to do more dog mysteries. Wayne get CBC. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, rumor, rumor has it because we're working on we are going to be on that set in November. So oh, nice. We'll just plug you. Just yeah. We'll wink at them then. Yeah. yeah, just wink at them. They'll know what it means. Well, Georgina. They're like, what are you yeah. doing? <laughs> Winking at you. Because, <laughs> yeah, Martin Redhawk would be awesome. You've done, well, you've done, like, all the big shows in T.O., though. Yeah, I mean, I moved here about two years ago, two and a half years ago from Montreal. So it's been, like, a very, it's, I'm so happy I moved here. Montreal is wonderful, but there wasn't 
a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Right. And, um, and it's close. It's close, yeah. I live in Montreal. And, and, you know, I got to work on a few films this year that were shot in Montreal, so I was able to go nice. back, which was really nice. But there's so much opportunity in Toronto for right. actors, and there's so many great projects here, so I'm happy to be here. Sure. Now, I'd be interested in, like, do stage stuff as well in town? Or? Yeah. Yeah? Um, I mean, certainly. It, I think it's, like, it's hard to... Um, they're just such different worlds in regards to yeah. like all yeah. the all the relationships you make, yeah. but certainly I mean stage is so great. <laughs> Need to talk to Mr. Paul Amos. Paul, if you're watching. Hello. Nice, nice to meet you, Paul. <laughs> the Wink. No, the last girl. I just recently did a little. Yes, you did. I saw that. Last girl. Yeah. Okay, pay attention. I read the things. I'm all over that. Thanks. I play an evil cheerleader. Is there awesome. any other kind? Yeah, ready. <laughs> <laughs> but. Right. Yeah. She kind of abandoned that cheerleader thing. She did. She did. Yeah. 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 Because I was like the first season. Yeah. 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 I recently watched Buffy. Like the series? Like last year. Yeah, the series. Yeah, me too. Just a couple of years ago. It's good. Right? Mm -hmm. If you can get past that first season first into the mm -hmm. second. <laughs> I don't know, because I came uh, in. I didn't mind the first season. I mean, second season. Originally, when I first started airing with Go Fish. That was my first episode, and I was hooked from there. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's still no Firefly. <laughs> I haven't seen Firefly. What? It's I only know. four episodes. My brother's like, why haven't you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't speak like that. Like not like a robot. No. Or a cyborg. That's just you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the best impression a cyborg can do. Why haven't you seen that? <laughs> no, but I love Battlestar, and I was like, well, right? Firefly, like, why? And I just haven't. It's on Netflix, isn't it? Oh, it is. No, I believe so. Yeah. 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 I think it isn't it even on both now. I can't remember. Like Canadian and. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like on all the Netflix that exist. It's Netflix on all. Netflix side. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, add that to your list. And Battlestar Galactica, right? Who didn't like Galactica? Woo! It's a good show. That's the that is like pushing me to watch Outlander. I haven't watched it yet, mm. but I might simply okay. because it's wrong with more. Oh, yeah. is it? I didn't realize that. Outlander, yeah, it's a that's a great concept. I, yeah. I like the idea of that show. I'm all for time travel. Who doesn't love a good time love, travel story? Yep. Just, time know, travel. Ross for party. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, I can work on my Scottish accent. Scottish. We brilliant. Fuck me, we bands. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I've been practicing it since I was three. Yeah. <laughs> that's about all I can do, but then I start to switch and go to the Irish. And Irish. The Irish. Fancy a wee pint down at the pub. Oh, I do. Fancy a wee pint down at the pub. Are you talking to yourself? I am, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how you learn your accents? Like, yeah. I, I like no, I, I just. I've watched, like, for my Irish accent, I watched, like, The Commitments. Over mm. and over and mm -hmm. over again. That'll do it. It's all how you learn to say fuck. Fuck? <laughs> ah, fucking deadly that. Oh, train spotting one of my other favorite See? Movies. And train spotting. Not really that good. I'm saying it's Irish, it's Scottish. Yeah. Yeah. But that's definitely See? one of my favorites. That's and where I get all my Right? <laughs> Look at you, you're just rocking the titles. Anna Hopkins. Anna Banana Hopkins. <laughs> 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 now, of course, you are not. Shooting Defiance because it's done for now. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't really ask about season three yet mm. because we don't know. Don't but it'll happen. Mm. Because what? all those people that I know love need to be stay gainfully employed. <laughs> That's nice. And we need to visit the set again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a cool set. Oh, yeah. It's so cool. Love that set. Yeah. That was like our first sci fi set. And Murdoch Mysteries, too. When you're on that, yeah. <laughs> you will love we that set. Yeah. Well. yeah, that set looks. It's really yeah, beautiful. I wish Road to Heaven Lee was still around and then I would go visit that set. That would be cool. And I should just like quiet really? and reverent. <laughs> <laughs> I just love Road to Heaven Lee so much. <laughs> it was such a good show. That is actually the one thing show I didn't watch. Oh. So. Watch. I mean, is that even like? Is it on Netflix? <laughs> is it? I don't know. If it was, I would think I would watch it again. Really? That's trying to Okay. All right. I mean, it was just so comforting. Yeah. It was like every Sunday. That's kind of why I watched Degrassi. Like yeah. I've never watched Degrassi. Degrassi is awesome. We love it. But 
You've done it. You just finished a short a short time ago. Oh, mm -hmm. a short, oh. short time ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what else have you got on the go? Well, um, so right when that was finished, I went to Montreal and I shot a French film, a Québécois movie, called Les Maîtres du Suspense, meaning the Masters of Suspense. Yeah, not what I was going with. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think like it was? Soup was? I don't know. I heard, I heard Metro and like it takes Metro's place. It's like speed. I don't know. <laughs> no. It's a suspenseful train ride. It's a train ride. <laughs> Subway. Um, yeah, it's um, basically the story. It's a dark comedy story of, an, of a novelist who um, gets writer's block and starts to employ a ghostwriter after ghostwriter after ghostwriter. Wow. And. Um, I play a muse to the ghostwriters, and I'm originally from Louisiana, and I end up heading back there, and then they all end up. So we shot mo uh, most of it in Louisiana and New Orleans. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it, I'm really excited for this movie. It's um, with some great Québécois actors. Um, did you ever see, do you know Michel Côté at all? Did I you do. ever see Crazy? Yes. Oh, yeah. The father yeah. and Crazy. Oh, okay. yeah, Perfect. He's such a wonderful, and then Antoine Bertrand, who, um, Play Louis Sear recently. I don't know if you saw that. Film. Yeah, I don't know the name. yeah, such funny guys. Oh my god. Anyway, so that so we finished that, and then a couple of months later, I went back to Montreal and shot a movie called After the Ball, um, where uh, I play. It's a, a sort of Cinderella-ish story comedy. Chris Noth is our stepdad. Me and Natalie oh, Krill. Play evil we stuff. love Natalie. Aww, Natalie's my sister. We met on that movie playing really dumb sisters, evil stepsisters. We had the best time. That's we hilarious. We became really close. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. Okay, actually, her face is like too pleasant and but sweet it's so sweet. To be well, because she plays like the. I I think I'm like. I Hair smarter than her, like I'm the leader, <laughs> and then she's just like kind of follows, but we're both just really not smart. Um, <laughs> but we just want, like, we have all these plans, and you know, that's awesome. conniving. So, yeah, and that comes out, that's coming out in October, so we're really excited. Very about cool. That. Yeah. That is cool. That's it so far. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a little, uh, oh, I can't say it actually. <laughs> <laughs> Concern us, move along. Next time. <laughs> but does anything compare to that snappy looking uniform you get to wear in the finals? No, nothing. Because I mean, holy crap. It's my favorite. I was like, who is that girl? And <laughs> snappy looking uniform. Yeah, I'm yeah. really happy they went, the, the design, uh, the costume designer, Simonetta, um, just like had this great idea for. Fascist uniform in the future. Right? Yeah. And then you, I don't know if he's come back, but it your never first goes out of style. It doesn't. Your the first Italians. time we were with uh, a previous guest of ours as well, Douglas Snapback. Oh, oh, yeah. Douglas right. is my acting coach. Get out of yeah. town. Yeah. I mean, I started, I started working with him when I came to Toronto, um, just like for taped auditions and stuff, and we became really close, and we were just we would always work auditions together. And he actually worked my defiance audition with me. Wow! Yeah, that is so cool. So I love how I, small. I, so I owe Doug. Well, I've told him a million times. Thank you. Thanks for helping me cool. audition. Yeah, he's awesome. Do you want to take the opportunity to wink? To wink, wink. Doug. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I don't even wink properly. I don't know. I find if I think about it too much, it just is a miserable It's just like, failure. it's like, there, it's like the, the line between like sexy and just like not yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like not attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, you, get, you know what I mean, Doug. I yeah. can't even do that like over-exaggerated one because I always like, I lean one way and wink the other eye or something. Yeah, like it's just, it up completely. it's hard. Mm. There's some people who can really do it yeah. well. Yeah. Not us. We are no. good at other things. Oh yes, yes we are. The hair. hair styles. Still looking. <laughs> Still. So, okay, so you've got all the stuff. How else do you keep busy? I mean, what do you do? Um, I write. Do you write? Really? Yeah. Excellent. Now, yeah. we're talking like uh, creative, journalistic, what do um, you Well, about two years ago, I started screenwriting. Yeah, and so I work with a writing partner who is also my best friend, also my roommate here in Toronto, Clara Ultimus. 
And we, I feel it's better if we just say wink. As yeah, we, just say everybody wink. knows what just we're like going insert for. wink. Um, yeah, so we are currently working on. We 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 have a few features that we're writing, but we just um, are working on a short through. Uh, it was an actor initiative mm -hmm. for female filmmakers, and it was a competition, and we got in. Nice. And so now we're going to be making it, which is really exciting. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So that takes up a lot of our time because right. writing is really hard and makes yes. you hate yourself. Yes. So. Am I doing it wrong? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you are. Wow. If you're sitting there thinking, this is brilliant, yeah. and you're high, and... Well, I never think that about You're wrong. Right. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then, I know, I don't know, drink wine. I drink wine a lot. That's nice. Now, how do you guys write? Do you write in the same room? Do you come back to one another? Um. We're often not. I, I spend a lot of time in LA, so we what we'll do is we we will send notes back and forth. We will oh, work drafts nice. together when we're in the same city. We almost kind of do the same thing, and then we reconvene together. We rarely just sit in a room and write together, right. unless we're kind of putting the last draft together. Yeah. Um, with wine. <laughs> with wine. Yeah, but. Um, it's, I mean, I don't think I would easily write with anyone else, but sometimes you find that person that no it just works. And, yeah. Yeah. But writing alone is also sure. great. Now, when you do that, I mean, how do you do it? Do you, do you, do you have to be quiet? Are you in a coffee shop? Are you listening to music? Um, I think if, it really depends. Like okay. at, at certain points in the script, I need to be around people and listen to music. Nice. And at other points, I think I just need to be alone and mm -hmm. quiet. And it's like whatever it feels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like to find like the right, just the right score to write to and just... Oh, just sometimes that really, it's, but sometimes you pick the wrong thing and like, I'll like be listening to, you know, country music and, and then my, my film is like, the scenes are like this completely different tone, like music is like, it's crazy when yeah, you're writing, yeah. it, or like dark jazz, like suddenly mm -hmm. everything starts to take a turn, it's, it's interesting. You do? I guess I do, but... I hadn't meant to kill that character. <laughs> but it seemed to it's work. Film noir. <laughs> it's like rom -com. <laughs> film noir rom-com might be an idea, though. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? I can actually... Things are starting to click back here already. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Check out. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. 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 I got it. Yeah. 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 Alright. Can film noir rom-coms next time we talk? Done. Done. <laughs> Over wine. I will bring the wine. All right. Uh, so yeah, you've got all that. What uh, What is your fan response been like for, for Defiance? I mean, because we're kind of, I mean, kind of came, your character kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah. And now there's got to be a lot of people out there who either really like you or really hate you. <laughs> yeah, um, <you're> <laughs> so hard. No, people have been so nice. Right? People are really nice. I think that sci-fi fans are real special. Yeah. Um, in the good way. In the good way. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really special. No. I'm not the wearing a helmet to work. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> No, there's a real, I, I don't know, I've always loved sci-fi, I love people who love sci-fi, I think they're, they have to have like a certain level of intelligence oh, and yeah. sophistication and, um, and kindness too, there's a real right. kindness to sci-fi yeah. lovers, so um, people have really liked my character and are really supportive of her and I mean what's funny is like the beginning of the season I was getting a lot of flack from Marissa fans they were just yeah. like girl back up I'm just like what it was in the script <laughs> but then things kind of eased up midway through and I came out looking like a good person yeah so. that's well that's the thing with Berlin because you I mean she's easy to hate right off the beginning yeah. but then like the more layered she becomes, the more you're like, well, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I don't want her to get <laughs> killed in the cave or anything. No. Berlin gets smacked around so much. She does. Jesus. But she takes it like a champ. Yeah. I think that's just like, being respect. I'm like, I have a weapon. I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to let you hit me. That was my 
fun. And I'll remember it. So <laughs> I will never forget. <laughs> well, I do like the fact that Defiance has done nothing but create strong women characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of them so far that yeah. have shown up are all incredibly strong. They're incredibly diverse. Yeah. But they're incredibly strong characters. Yeah, they're, they're, just, they're realistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. They all have their own weaknesses. They're, they're realistic weaknesses. They're yeah. not just like, oh, I just kind of wish I had a man. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. I think, yeah. I mean, yeah, you usually like go into a project, and or at least I do, and I'm like, all right, like, what are the stereotypes for this <laughs> character? And um, it was like there was just so much ease to just deal with this character as a character, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. not just like what is this female perspective. It yeah. was just like this character is so specific to you know her background. And yeah, she has a, a history. A real she has story, like a yeah. present, and she yeah. has. Yeah, and she's like you know and she, yeah, and she's like <laughs> strong in a lot of ways, but she's also vulnerable. You yeah. know, when when Tommy, I don't know if he's. Good. Well, when you know Tommy, she feels she feels like he's gonna end it with her. She, you yeah. know, her her instinct is to end it first, which is a real vulnerable move, and yeah. you know that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I've been. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. You're like, you know what? Actually, I was gonna break up with you. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> you know, like you go cry in a car, but. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, so I, I like didn't that. film that part. Yeah, that, didn't, that part wasn't filmed. <laughs> but no, it's, yeah, because it's, it's always been such a strong cast show when it comes mm. to characters, which mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. I mean, I I was sold from the beginning of the show anyway, but it's just the way the characters are written and yeah. the stories. I mean, sure, it's a futuristic setting, and yes, there are aliens, but it's still all human stories. Yeah, yeah. and there's a real, I think. It's like, you know, that sort of Western, now that I'm watching Deadwood. <laughs> um, Where do you get to Firefly? Oh, I know, I can't wait. <laughs> um, but in Deadwood, it, it's like, there, it's, it's like we're allowed to have all the badassery of Deadwood, but there aren't any of the social constraints in the future anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there are social constraints, but they're really not the same. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're completely fabricated in regards to alien races, etc. So the whole, you know, female, male social constraints that are in Deadwood, which are really interesting to watch, they're just not there in Defiance. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a free for all, I think, totally. for the writers. And they, yeah. you know, I, I remember Kevin was talking to me about Berlin and how he he wanted her to like the way she dealt in relationships. He wanted it to be very. Um, very different than a woman her age now would deal yeah. with it, you know. So just you know, he just is allowed to kind of create those those social constraints as opposed to follow yeah. following the ones that. We're, we're and I love that they, they set stuff up like with the tars. This season has been ridiculous because mm. they they had like their thing. <laughs> they're they're cast within cast within society, and then they just break them and they just push them right out of it, so yeah. that nobody's behaving the way they thought yeah. they were supposed to. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, and so they basically like they just pushed everybody out of their character's comfort zone and then watched them. And then it's, <laughs> that's exactly what this season is. Yeah. Which I've been loving. From the stuff I have seen, yeah. I've been loving it just because, well, the first season's all set up, but you get to love the characters. And I mean, even from the get go on season two, it's a completely different place now. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Everything has changed so much. And we were talking about it the other day how it has, it's so much darker than the first season, mm -hmm. which is not mm -hmm. a bad thing. I no. love when they push characters like and that. And everything. I mean, you take what Amanda was in the first season, and she starts off in the need one, <laughs> like running the need one. Yeah, so you're like, oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. You're looking pretty comfortable there. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like, new job. Yeah. So. And now Linda Hamilton. Is <laughs> right? So Linda Hamilton's everywhere. Why was she not on our show? I know. Not she yet. her. Someday. Uh, she, she just keeps coming away. here. She should just move here. Yeah. And, yeah. and then, like, yeah. visit LA. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like everybody. Like everybody. Do you hear the shoot? I mean, Doug Toro's here all the time. He needs yeah. to move here. GDT, too. you need to come on the show. I'm just saying. Because they hope it's a wink. 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 <laughs> but yeah, so where would Berlin hang out in Defiance, and where would you hang out in Defiance? In Defiance? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're both the same, the need one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's alcohol there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just the best place. Yeah. It's a fun place. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where else? Where 
progress. It's got what you need and what you want. I wander. I would probably wander. I like, yeah, I like wandering around too. Cause that's that's a fantastic set. Mm. Yeah, it really is. Right. Oh, we were gobs. I was literally gobs. Some kind of dangerous. Because we walked out. Yeah, the door. stay in the need want because sort of. You know what's coming. <laughs> yes, yeah, not really, but. As long as you have a safe word, it's fine. Right. <laughs> That's true. Bananas! <laughs> Banana. You're like, what? It's a safe word. Yeah. Crazy. All right, so yeah, so you've got you've got that After the Ball coming up. Mm -hmm. You've got the French film coming up, mm -hmm. which hopefully we'll be able to see. Is After the sometime. Ball like theater bound or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it'll be, mm -hmm. I believe. Don't quote me on this, but I believe it's October third uh, wow. is the the wide the wide theatrical release in Canada. But that could be completely false. I have no <laughs> idea, but I think that's what it is. And then um, French film will be theatrically released on December sixteenth. Wicked. Mm -hmm. And we'll keep busy between now and then. I'm gonna do my best. Anna, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having so much me. fun. Yeah. Nice and relaxed. A lot of, a lot of <laughs> winking. So much. Sponsor, 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 really sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> <Sponsor. laughs> Moving into Twitch territory. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, Sue, we had a hell of a day. And a very big day. If you've donated, thank you. If you haven't donated, please at least think about it or at least retweet it. Hashtag yeah, real record. Word. Right? Is it's good to do that? Hashtag? Real Hashtag R E E L record. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we will see you next time, and of course, hope to see you in November. It's going to be awesome. Be there, be square. <laughs> Lindsay Lewis, thank you very much as always. <laughs> Give us the big thumbs up. Thumbs up. Sue? Tim? I say good day. <laughs> <laughs> I say good night. <laughs> Boom. <laughs>